Uh, my name is Michelle French, proud UP alum and head coach of the University of Portland women's soccer team. Back in the day when I played at UP, um, I have obviously tremendous memories here. The stadium being filled um, to capacity, 5,000 fans, uh, the smell of the freshly mowed grass on a fall day, um, and then the amazing memories that I have of, of Clive Charles as my coach. Uh, we had a lot of success um, and I was fortunate to be a part of that, going to uh, three Final Fours in my four years. Uh, I was really fortunate to be a part of the pilot program. Uh, my name is Kevin White. I'm the athletic field manager here at the University of Portland in the athletics department. I've been here for seven years and uh, I love it. Here on campus, we have a mix of natural grass and artificial fields. Um, I believe there are six total fields right now with uh, a seventh one in the works with a track and field complex that's that's under construction. Merlot Field hasn't changed a ton since I was here. I would say probably the biggest thing um, that you notice when you walk into the stadium versus 25 years ago are the banners that we have up. Whether that's from the success from the program, WCC championships, national championships, or uh, celebrating the legends that have come through here like uh, Megan Rapinoe and Christine Sinclair. Oftentimes when we bring recruits on campus, this is one of, it's either the first thing we show or the last thing. Um, we kind of think it's the cherry on top in terms of of the program here at UP. Uh, you know, people think that it's a turf field oftentimes and then they we're like, no, come touch it, come walk on it. And it's pretty unbelievable when you see the reaction that people have to the field. Uh, Kevin has done an, an incredible job uh, making this be a place where people want to come play. These student athletes see it and uh, often talk about seeing themselves wearing a purple jersey running up and down the field. The France campus uh, started in 2018. First, first facilities were these soccer fields. Um, it's a beautiful setting here along the Willamette River. Uh, the, uh, all the athletes love coming down here. Um, from here, we will build uh, the boathouse is under construction, uh, track and field complex is in the works, and then sometime down the road, a uh, tennis facility will come online and that will complete this campus. Fran's campus down below um, is an incredible piece that adds to um, the investment in our program that the University of Portland has shown. To be able to have another impeccable grass field down below that we're able to train on both in season and out of season and then add to that the turf field um, that we train on as well whether that's during the season because of the weather or because we're going to go play an opponent on turf uh, to have the option of both fields um, and to know that they are going to be in pristine shape just as uh, Merlot Field is it's a really big advantage for us. I've won multiple field of the year awards one in Seattle and two here and for me, I, I would say the, the, the recognition of just, you know, the work that we put into it, um, you know, it focuses on all the details that go into this job. You know, it's, it's a lot more than just mowing, which is what a lot of people think. There's a lot of hats that we have to wear. Um, one of them being we, we, you know, we have to do pest control, which geese are a problem here on this campus. And so we, we have to take different measures to scare off geese and keep them from making a home here on this grass and making a huge mess. One way we control the geese is we, we use uh, vo uh, sound boxes that, that play sounds of uh, goose predators and distressed geese, as well as uh, coyote decoys. When this stadium is full, um, there is an electricity, there's an excitement, there's an anticipation because uh, people know the brand of soccer that both the men and the women's soccer program play and it's an exciting uh, moment to be a part of, whether it's scoring goals, whether it's beating a top 10 opponent. Um, as, as we both start to continue to change the program and bring them back into uh, the spotlight, uh, the stadium is starting to fill up every single year. And for our players to be, to be able to experience that and have that support from the Portland community is absolutely incredible. The student population from UP that comes out to support the team, whether it's the Villa Drum Squad, um, who is incredible and puts fear into, into opponents, um, or just the students in general, uh, knowing that there can be that connection because of the size of our university, um, our players are in dorms with the, they're, they're in classes and um, they love to interact and I think having them come to our games just shows what it's a tight knit community uh, UP is. It's really a cool thing to be able to see them uh, come to the games and fill the stands and, and be really proud to be a part of Clive's Army. It's like where do you begin with Kevin? Um, his dedication to his craft, his commitment to 
uh, making the facilities you know, as best as they can be on a daily basis. Uh, we, we are so exceptionally fortunate to have someone with such a level of professionalism um, and to take his art so seriously. Uh, we've got to do everything we can to keep him here and uh, love that he's a part, of, a part of the program. I take a lot of pride in my work and um, I, I, you know, I come to work every day and give my all and I think, I think the players appreciate that. A lot of them voice it. I know the coaches appreciate it. They voice it too. Uh, we, I, I have uh, some very high standards that I work towards and, and I think that, that shows in the work and I, I know everybody's grateful for what we do. Whether you've been a longtime fan of University of Portland women's soccer and men's soccer or whether you're just starting to get excited about the programs again, we'd love to have you and host you out here on the bluff uh, to experience what a game is like here in Merlot Stadium and to see what incredible student athletes we have here that represent the community.